This government is facing new problems as illegal migrants are now individually taking the Home Office to court, case by case, over the Rwanda plan. I'm sick and tired of talking about the everyday problems with this Rwanda scheme and illegal migration as a crisis. And it, it, the weird thing about this whole the border crisis that we have in this country is that the mainstream media, sometimes they show a bit of attention for about five minutes and then they forget about it. They just move away and talk about the usual political gossip in the Westminster bubble and what Nicola Sturgeon's saying and all that nonsense. But the issue is this problem still exists. It's happening every day. We have more people coming on boats. We have more people coming through. They're using lorries and they the, the, the tunnel and everything else. And of course, certain people who are using legal routes as uh, to cheat to enter the system uh, through fake student uh, visas and tourist visas and everything else. Now, illegal migrants um, are taking the government to court over Rwanda deportations, court of appeal. Now, the, the government themselves won the main court case over the actual scheme. So the main program, the main policy, the Rwanda policy, won the court case. But as we said on this channel, when that happened, we did say, now you're going to see what's going to happen next. You're going to have all these activist lawyers, left-wing lawyers, working with the so-called human rights groups who are also campaigners and illegal migrants themselves to then start individual court cases. And that's also going to create a lot of bureaucracy. So that's going to confuse the Home Office lawyers anyway. And I can imagine a lot of these uh, appeals will be um, in the, the, well, will be uh, winning for the migrants themselves. So <clears throat> the um, when we know that the UK's Rwanda scheme um, and as a whole has been obviously uh, declared legal, the asylum seekers, well, again, the media still calls them asylum seekers because that's technically, they're technical and legal uh, phrase. But the problem is not necessarily just the activist lawyers. We know they're doing, well, they're not necessarily doing their jobs. But on the one hand, they are doing their jobs, but they are also politically motivated. But that's what they're doing. That's just open. It's out there. We know that's their motive. That's their agenda. It's technically not illegal what they're doing. If you want to change it, you need to change the system. But the problem is the burden is on the government, is on the Home Office and the Prime Minister. These guys who for the past few years have been giving us empty promises. That's the main issue. At least be honest with the people and say, well, we can't do this now or we can't do this in this area because of these problems. Just tell us exactly what's going on. But the issue with the Tory government and these politicians is that they just give us all these empty promises and lies and expect us to believe that. And then they, they, they are also very good at spinning the message. So they might be able to deport 10 to 20 people. And when the election comes, they could put that on their posters and election leaflets saying, well, technically deportations have started now. But it's not really mass deportations, is it? <laughs> My policy is still the same. Legal and illegal mass migration must stop. It needs to go back to zero. Technically negative migration because we need to get rid of a lot of people. Re remain zero until we sort out the mess in our own country first and then you can be generous then you can actually have controlled migration properly and if you are desperate for some talent in some area fine and make sure they integrate otherwise no we've done it enough stop anyway let me know what you guys think in the comment section i'm maya tusi and we are the media